the pass, at least for a laning phase, uh, okay. to try and kill the gangplank. Renekton, that's what I was looking for as far as, hey, he doesn't want to allow the Gangplank the opportunity to get Look back. Look at the minimap, though. Jarvan's here. It's going to be a two versus two. CLG coming in, looking to find the damage. Almost able to grab it. Wiggly's able to grab himself the first blood. Ruin gets oh! himself away, but the turret's going to take him down. It is a one for... Smithy, they're trying to take Dragon while Jensen just teleported top. This could be a disaster for Team Liquid. Biofrost heads over, but there's nobody else. Sticks A still under the turret. They don't call everyone. PoE forced to flash away. Not only do TL grab their objective, they get a summoner spell from the enemy mid laner. Now it's Impact, who again is targeted by the side of CLG. The damage comes through, the cocoon lands, and the auto attack seals. And bottom side now, it's gonna be two versus two. Core JJ going underneath the turret. Stick say not able to grab solo laners and jungler here, ready to go. Still committing to Shelly. That eyeball rocking again as Smithy goes forward with the combo, has to flash out over the wall to keep himself alive. As Shelly oh is stolen by impact. He runs up, he grabs the eye. He's about to stamp out that spider and Wiggly shut down. Oh my. Like Team Liquid, now that they have this gold lead, they call it Smithy down to the bottom side to finish it up. And you know why they're going bottom side, Clayton? There's another dragon ready and waiting of CLG. So maybe he's got some time to back off. Well, someone who doesn't have a lot of time is going to be Power of Evil, who tries to get himself away in the mid lane and will succeed in doing so. Double if goes for the flash to follow up, but will not be in range. Jensen seeing if maybe there's a move to make here with this. They're calling. Nick Smithy going in. Wiggly and Sticks they targeted. Nick Smithy going to be taken very low, though. Up into the air goes the spider, but where is she going to come back down? Has to flash over the wall. Jensen follows after with the ultimate. Stace is going to be used there. Wiggly very low, and he cannot be gobbled up in time. Sticks and Biofrost try to escape as Jensen continues forward, having a flash out now. Nick Smithy still going to be kept alive into the back line. Ruin looking to dive into him, but he's not going to have enough just yet. Rooted up, beaten down. Double if makes sure of it in team. Alive. And nobody else from CLG acted and at the same. Getting into the top Ooh. side here, but it doesn't look like they're going to find a whole lot from this as that Drake falls. Smithy is saying, all right, we got to go check this. Baron taking a half HP. CLG, there's no way you can continue this. It has to be disengaged as Core JJ is going in, and now it's trouble for CLG. Jensen maintains aggro on the Baron, and that means CLG has done nothing but leash for their opponent. Core JJ is going to be taken very low. He stays alive, only to be executed by Baron. But now will CLG find anything else? Jensen continues moving forward. A TP coming in now for CLG to find something on the back end. And Liquid now has two and a half minutes to slam some objectives on this map. That was only the third turret they've taken this game. Plenty of standing gold left to grab here for the side of TL, as Jensen will continue pushing into the top side. You've got Impact in the bottom. The other three members here in mid lane. The uh, Akali, as well as the Gangplank, just being unanswered. Jensen gets a turret on He's the top. trying to defend here, but... Things are getting tougher and tougher, my friend. When you're down 8,000 gold, when another turn form hope that Liquid makes some sort of a mistake, but so far they're playing clean. All right, mid lane, the next one to take some damage here. Double lift for JJ, move inside, they finish the turret. And even though CLG clump up, Team Liquid get the objective first, and they don't take any risk. There's a Cloud Drake now on the map for them to take as well. Power Beeble goes for the play on the impact. CLG is saying, all right, can we find something here? Wiggly wanted to move forward, finds the Cocoon, more damage coming through. There's a kill for the side of CLG, but it may just cost them their inhibitor in the top lane. TL take that one down with the remaining four members. They will disengage and escape. To come in and back up the power behind these barrel explosions. It's 50. That was close. And now they've got to try to defend this mid lane inhibitor, and it's just not in the card. All right, I got a question for you then. What is at the center of a liquid pop, Captain Flowers? Well, here in about a few minutes, it's going to look like a blown up CLG Nexus as CLG is finding their health bars poked down here yet again, forced off their own objectives. Core JJ going to take ever so slight amount of damage there as PoE tries to summon enough soldiers to keep these guys away. Team Liquid just waits for the next minion wave. They don't have a Baron. They don't need it. It will be spawning in 15 seconds if they decide to double back for that here soon. They would like to at least get this mid lane in hit first, provide some extra pressure onto the CLG base. That's two. And now they'll back away. Now it's saying, okay, Baron's up. We can go get this. Their base is going to be flooded with minions. This is easy. Jensen split pushing in the bottom lane. He has TP to join if he needs to. And you can see how much 
much respect Team Liquid are giving to the damage output of the level 16 Azir. Power Beevil, you mentioned try him trying to be the one to get to the center of this Team Liquid problem. That is their hope. He is the level 16 carry for this team. He's got his Nashers too. They're attempting to steal the Baron. Yep, not gonna happen today. Double is able to secure that one. As Wiggly gets himself away with a repel, Jensen takes down Stixay in a 1v3. Shuffled back by the Emperor's Divide. Will he actually fall? Biofrost walking in over the wall. Jensen goes down. It's a one for two, though, as CLG have also lost Whoa. their Gondler. Devil is very far forward, but he's able to just bait CLG in. They don't have the damage just yet. Devil's going to be taken low, taken down. Team Liquid are winning the fight for now. But Ruin, Ruin is rampaging through their lines. One man stands on the side of TL. Xmithy will try to get away. He buffers through the stun, but Ruin will follow. He Ruin. needs a little bit more to chase this Jarvan down. The slow will stop him. There's the stun. There's the damage! In the game, Inhibitor on the top side has respawned, and they are very happy to see another Ocean Drake respawn. The difference between Remaining Team Inhibitor turret, we'll see if CLG can stop it. Ruin on the front line, eating a little bit of damage. Turret gonna be taken very low, taken down. CC landing onto Ruin. The Abyssal Voyage is showing up into the top side. It's Impact who's in some trouble. Gonna be taken low, kept alive by the Xerix Gage. The damage comes down, he's gonna be taken down, but now the counterattack is coming through. Wiggly's kept alive, but only for a moment. Biofrost gonna be taken low next. It's 50 into the middle of the fight. Devil is trying to kite away from Ruin, who turns right back around. It's a double kill over to the Emperor of Sharima. And Power of Evil makes sure it's an even fight. Two for two. And that is what they were waiting for. They need the Baron empowered minions to be able to get past the on that top side lane brush as well. We'll see if CLG go for anything else with Biofrost's Abyssal Voyage. The Sun Disc falls in the mid lane. Team Liquid taking their time with this one. They don't want to make any more of those big mistakes that led to the last pop off from CLG. Ruin rotating bottom side to deal with Xmithy now. Jensen's still going to be providing that 1 3 1 pressure there in the top lane. Power right. of Evil shows up and summons up some soldiers. Keep your eyes on the supports. Or keep your eyes on the top side or everywhere. It's about to go off. Power of Evil getting himself away from Jensen. who goes Woo. into the smoke. Double is grabbing the kill onto Wiggly first and foremost. Jensen buys time with the stasis. Ruin on the front line. Red inhibitor goes down. Ruin going to be tanking up all day long. Biofrost gobbles him away, but still going to be in some trouble. Strix stays chased down by Devil who goes deep into enemy territory. A double kill over to him. And that is the game. Ruin the last man. And despite CLG's best efforts, Liquid will remain at number one. Team Liquid remain supreme in the 